guys, welcome to the final day of the season against Bolton. And yeah, it's all still to play for at the bottom. Wigan have the points and goal difference advantage over Blackburn. They visit We United and uh, Wigan are also away at Middlesbrough, so I'll be looking out for that. Bolton going to be in their black kit today, their away kit. We haven't seen this kit before, so why not? It's the last game of the season. Let's change it up. Let's do something different or whatever. But uh, yeah. Um, Bolton, they've come back up this season. I think they're in 13th position, actually. Um, I think. So, yeah, they've yeah they've done all right. They've come back up and played well. And done what they've had to do. So, um, yeah, look how small Shimizu is there compared to everybody else. So, yeah, we've changed the team up. It's the last day. We can't get the unbeaten season, unfortunately. Chiellini's at the back, though, with Puyol, Risa. Cafu's going to... Play this one. Puello's in there. Uh, Shimizu with Kaiser and Ronaldinho in attacking midfield. Mutu's going to be up front because he's still chasing the uh, golden boot. Um, in fact, I don't even know what the golden boot statistics are at, actually at the moment. I haven't checked, but he's going to be alongside Schwartz on this uh, last day. Hopefully we play better than we did in the last one because the last game was awful. Um, one, one of the worst games maybe not well maybe not the worst but it's definitely up there for one of the worst games we've played um we just couldn't like do anything could we so yeah here's Risa Puyol transfer speculation can officially start well I mean it started pretty much after the last window closed but <laughs> you know all the uh speculation will start as we uh, look forward to the summer, but there's one 90-minute game left to go yet. This is the uh, the one where we look at absolutely everything. Oh, what a ball over that could be if it finds Schwartz. Oh, it's found Mutu. Oh, what has Mutu done? All he had to do was get in there and put it away, and he didn't do it. Tried to pass it over for some reason. Here's Ronaldinho. Ball into the box. Doesn't find him. Reese has got to get back. And, um... Yeah, it, in fact, you know what? I think I've just noticed Fabregas is playing for them. Did he go on loan to Bolton? I don't remember him going to Bolton. He must have done. <laughs> and he's actually playing it. Yeah, he just took that free kick. He's actually playing against us. That's illegal. You can't do that. That's not on. That is certainly not on. And it's Mutu. Oh, took it pretty well, actually. Um, just be our look if he scored against us, honestly. It really would be at this point. Shimizu caught offside. So, uh, yeah, how would I sum up this season? Uh, I don't know, to be honest. Uh, it's just, it's been amazing. It's just been amazing. Um, despite, I mean, we've only had two losses, which ain't bad in the whole of the um, season. I would have preferred if we didn't lose in the league, but yeah. <laughs> um, it's kind of gutting, though, when that happens, though. But, um, you know, we played, played teams like, you know, weakened teams against, like, I think Arsenal, didn't we, the other week? We was playing, preparing for the Champions League final. Um, uh, the United game. You, you know what I'm saying? We played all those games with weakened teams and we still did pretty well. So, uh, I don't know really how I I think of it, to be honest. Oh, well done by Risa. Oh, he's done really well. He is still going. It's Risa. And it's still Risa. And he's been brought down as a free kick. Mutu's looking at that. And he's thinking, you know what, I fancy it. Oh. 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 He has to line and picks it up. But, um, yeah. New season. Going to be here soon. Transfer targets. Ronaldo, Buffon. They're going to probably be on the table again, more than likely. We've got more. We've got more money than we know what to do with now. Um, so yeah, did I mention that Marshall was in goal today? I don't know if I did. I definitely. I want to get a new hold of a new keeper. Honestly, that's something that's on the table. So may maybe going for Buffon again or something. I don't know. Uh, here's reset out wide. Oh, he's not going to keep it in.
But um, there isn't much to add to this team, to be honest. You know, what I mean, what, what can we? Who can we buy? You know, what I mean, Casillas is one of the other options for a keeper. I prefer Buffon myself, but uh, meh. Oh, ball in there is cut out. And there's Chiellini. And he's due for this is bad. Oh. Oh. And kept out by Risa. Wow. How did we not concede the... Honestly still think we should have been one up from that Mutu chance earlier. But obviously he decided to pass the ball for some strange reason. And what are we doing here? Think our defence. We need another defender. I think you know. What is that pass? There's a foul there. And here's Cafu. Gonna run. Here's Mutu. He's gonna beat that player there. He's got the pace for it. It's Mutu. He's gonna go it alone. Oh, gets the shot off. Oh. And here's. Puello, and it's Shimizu, <laughs> and it's back with us, and it's going to go out wide to Cafu, who puts it back to Kaiser, Kaiser's going to get the ball in, cleared, yes, Galina will pick it up all day long. Uh... An interesting first. Like I said, I think I said in the last game that the ball seems to be bouncing around a little bit more than usual. I don't know, but oh, and Chiellini getting in the way of Cafu there. Remember Ronaldinho on the last day last year? He oh oh Muto. <laughs> Um, something out of nothing there, but Ronaldinho, I remember him scoring against Everton last season on the final day. Final day always seems to be a weird one. I don't know. Final, do you know what? The final day of the Premier League in, in real, in general, I think is always a strange one. So, I mean, some really weird results. Remember, like, I think 2013, Alex Ferguson's last game, 5-5 with West Brom. You know what I mean? Um... I think there was that Middlesbrough game, wasn't there, against Man City. That finished 8-1. So, do you know what I mean? It's, it, there's a lot of strange things that kind of happen on the last day. Oh, good effort. What a save by Marshall, though. That was on target. Ball is in there. How are we not dealing with that? We have been so sloppy at the back recently. Even in the Champions League final. I mean, okay, there was that chance that, you know, Zlatan had. But he missed it. But we have been really poor at the back, I think, lately. Conceding quite a lot of goals. More, you know what I mean? All season long, we've been really good. But I just think all of a sudden, we've been terrible. You know I mean, we've got Terry in that. I think Terry's sitting this one out. There was really no point of that restart. There was the... Maybe we could do with a new centre-back or something in the next window. I don't know, but it's 1-1 one, one at the break. Let's check the half-time results. No, we can't check him because everything's a uh, evening fixture, so we'll just have to wait to the end of this game to find out uh, what happened down at the bottom. And whatnot. So the thing is that it's kind of strange because the game lets you know, like who's promoted and who's relegated before you've even like seen the league table, like kind of thing. So <laughs> yeah. Anyway, here's Puyol. It's out to Shimizu. Good run by Shimizu. Tries to put it into the path of Mutu. Won't get there. I think Kafu's had a decent game though so far. I think he's been no okay. I don't even think he I don't think he's on form or anything, but still. Reset. Out to Shimizu. Out to Mutu. Oh, he doesn't miss it, does he? 
two in this game. Surely the golden boot is wrapped up, but we don't know what's going on in that Newcastle game. And I haven't checked how many goals Owen has actually got, so you never know yet. It's a good goal, though. He just gets past that defender with, like, ease in the end. Assist by Shimizu. He's just seen him running in there. Takes it away from in, then he's just got to slot it away and, and does that. And uh, yeah, back in the lead again. And this is dangerous, not Fabregas. Oh, and please, not Fabregas. Not claiming an assist. <laughs> right there. Schwartz is moved to. And could be a good ball to move to. It's going to be Schwartz. Is it? It's Kaiser. Kaiser's effort is wide. <laughs> Unbelievable. Ronaldinho waiting in the middle, but there was a man on him. Kaiser had to take the shot there. Fouled. Just about half an hour to go now. It's Puello over to Cafu. Schwartz. Corner. Ronaldinho with a ball in. It's gotta be! Oh, Shimizu. Waiting for that. And here's Puello, who's done all right. And uh, here's Risa. Puello, Chiellini, over to Cafu again. Here's Kaiser. Oh, it doesn't matter, does it? Ah, oh, it does. Kaiser's effort! Oh, ho, 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 ho. good uh, drive there. I thought there was too much power behind it in the end, but it wasn't. And Marshall seems a bit confused there, but he's going to get it. Oh, and that's really bad by Puyol. And he's going to give away a free kick. Oh, and that's cut out. Kaiser's done well. Here's Schwartz. And it's Mutu. And Mutu's just going to skip past these players like they're not even there. It's Mutu. Oh, he's looking to maybe take the shot on in the end. Just feels like he gets better and better, honestly. <laughs> Over to the other side here. And that's really good for Mutu, but he's going to play... Oh! What was that? <laughs> Just wasn't quick enough for it there. He's up for the hat-trick. You know, should try and get a hat-trick. Oh, this is really bad. Don't want it to be 2-2. And Risa deals with that for us. I take it away by Fabregas there. And Shimizu ooh, tries to win it back. Here's Ronaldinho. Ronaldinho. Will it be faster? And it's Kaiser's effort. Oh. And Shimizu. And it's Kaiser. And it's nobody's in the end.
Risa, last few minutes of this game now. Over to Shimizu. Over to Mutu. Looking for the hat trick. Oh, can't get it. Well, it was decent. Ronaldinho. Messi over the bar. First touch of the game. Gonna bring Lupley on for uh, Kaiser. There's literally like a second left in this game, so it's not really gonna mean much if he has to play out of position for a little bit. Oh, what is Messi doing there? <laughs> Poor Messi. He's got that goal against Madrid, but other than that. Not really seen a lot of time. I think Lupoli is one for the future, though. We ain't going to give him up. Last uh, kick of the season right here, then. Last throw-in of the season right here. Yeah, that's uh, that's the game. That's, that's that. 2-1. Yeah, we did what we had to do there. Um, that's it. Season over with. Game records, it had to be moved to. One last man of the match for him this season. Well, only 5.5, .5. I haven't seen a lot of him. Do we keep him over the summer, guys? I don't know. <laughs> uh, Kaiser, 6. I think he played well. Shmizu played well. I thought Ronaldinho had a good game. Schwartz, not impressive today, honestly. Could have done better. Um, so, yeah, Sinclair for them got a 7. But, yeah. So anyway guys, there's been a club ranking announcement. We are number one with Juventus in second. Only by the four points we're ahead of them though. Uh, Manchester United up to third. Madrid are sixth there, but down are Barca into fifth. Inter Milan are seventh. For AC Milan eighth. By ninth, Arsenal tenth. For Roma down to eleventh there. So we'll just go ahead and check to see what's happened um, elsewhere. Anything too notable here? Mm, Dortmund have gone up there. Pez United have gone up there. Celtic, are they coming back up, guys? Ooh, West Ham have gone up. Ooh. I think I think Celtic might have come back up, you know. I think maybe Celtic and... Mm, I don't know. Maybe... Maybe... I don't know. I don't know, guys. I'm going to predict Celtic and... I kind of want West Brom to come up or Sunderland so we can play them again. But uh, Premier League is 173. La Liga, 118. Serie A, 113. And League 4. So only change there. Serie A has gone down. And uh, we got quite a lot of points uh, there from that, guys. So, uh, yeah. Kind of interesting if Pez United came up, actually. So look at that. We've got over 100,000 points to use now. And it's going to be Pez United and West Brom are coming up this season. That is interesting. We haven't played West Brom since season one. And Pez United for that matter, guys. So we got a couple of, couple of teams to go through there uh, next season. So that's interesting. And Blackburn have gone down on the last day. They couldn't do it. And uh, Wigan make the great escape yet again. Charlton are going to join them. Very interesting. Anyway, guys, it's time to prick our pre-season uh, games for next season, which you guys are obviously been voting for yet again. The first ones that we're going to get out of the way, though, is going to be Manchester United, so we're going to have the hypothetical, you know, um, charity shield game which is going to be number 43 actually against Newcastle and then the European Super Cup hypothetical thing against Manchester United. So those two have already decided. So the other six. The thing is though, this season though, guys, you guys have been voting, but we're going to do something a little bit different, something that we've not done before. Um, and what we're actually going to do is, well, the first one that was... Um, that's come out because obviously we pick the sort of top ones and then we put them into a, a random number generator and then they just come out in whatever order but the first one that was drawn out was AC Milan so we're going to be playing AC Milan to start off with um the uh, the second one that we are going to do is going to be uh where are they in fact we're not even on the right page here it's going to be in this section here it's going to be the European All-Stars because we haven't played them yet the next one 
is actually going to be the African All-Stars, which is that one. Um, match number... Oh, I think this is match number... Yeah, number four. We've not actually ever played the these special teams. They always have, right? The all-star teams. We have got the world, European, American, South American, Asia, and African. But then there's two special ones that they add on the end. And nobody's ever voted for them before. And we've never seen any of these teams before, guys. So what we're actually going to do is play both of these teams this year, guys. Um, you know, just to kind of mix things up a little bit. So, first of all, we're going to play the Master League Veterans that happen to be on here before. You can get things like the Speedsters, I think, and the Goliaths, where it's all, like, big players. You know, Speedsters is, like, fastest players and stuff like that, but it always, like, changes every year or whatever. So, we're going to play Master League Veterans as number 40. as just something a little bit different. And then the next one we're actually going to play is going to be... Uh, where are they? Um, a team that we've not actually played before. It's going to be Bayern Munich. And then we're going to end up with um, the other special team, which is Master League Youth Squad. So I think what we might do from now on is start picking these special teams to play against, just so we can see them. But, uh, yeah, guys, that is what we're going to do this preseason. So, yeah, um, that's the draw. That's how it's come out, and that's what we got. Anyway, the results of the final fixture, though. Uh, Blackburn did lose 2-1 to uh, We United there, and Wigan pulled off another win to, uh, to just to make sure that they secured it. In fact, they ended up, I think, finishing 14th, and I think it was Bolton who finished 15th in the end. So, yeah, uh, well done to Wigan. They've done it again. Um, Newcastle uh, thrashed Chelsea. These are all reversed for some reason because we were at home to Bolton, not away. So, yeah, uh, Newcastle have thrashed Chelsea at, at Stamford Bridge on the last day of three. Nil. Uh, Manchester United have won away at Everton 2-1. Uh, Rangers and Aston Villa is 1-1. Charlton lose their final game against uh, uh, Spurs 3-1. And Arsenal and Fulham drew 1-1. So this is the final league table. We finish up on 83 points out of a possible 90. Not bad, not bad, but slightly ruined at the end. Uh, we conceded 13, we scored 85, so we scored more goals than we got points. Although it shouldn't have been. Oh well, oh well. Plus 72, uh, Manchester United finished on 66 points. Uh, not bad, 21 wins, scored 50 goals, letting 31. Goal difference of 19. Newcastle had a better goal difference of plus 24. They scored 58 goals. Um, really good season for them, finishing up in fair. Chelsea fourth, uh, Arsenal fifth. Arsenal finish on 50 points. Chelsea on 51. And Aston Villa do snatch their last European place on 49. Um, I thought we United, uh, Fulham, and Rangers, to be honest, I thought they had pretty good seasons. Um, but not enough to get into Europe. As you can see right there, Bolton have moved down into 14th. They're not going to be bothered. They already survived before the final day anyway. Um, I think. Yeah. No, wait. Wait, 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 wait a minute. If Blackburn lost... <laughs> And Bolton are on 27 points. I thought it was just between um, Wigan and Blackburn, actually. I was not paying attention to what Bolton were doing at all, was I? <laughs> I was not paying attention. If they had lost, then there was a chance for um, Bolton to be relegated on the last day. And I didn't clearly pick that up. Okay, then. I don't know how that got past me, honestly. But, uh, yeah, Charlton and Blackburn are down. Not good enough there. Uh, Charlton have scored 33 goals, but let in 66. Minus 33 goal difference. Not good. Blackburn let in 59. Only scored the 32. Lowest scorers in the league in the end. Remember, they got a point against us this season, which they will let us forget about. So, La Liga here. Getafe finish up in bottom with just 11 points, miserably. Osasuna finish up in 15th um, with just the 23 points. Yeah, Atletico Madrid finished in the bottom half there with 41. Severe also finished in the bottom half with just 40 points. In fact, wow, they actually scored and let in the same amount there, Severe. Um, Real Madrid have won the league in La Liga, 75 points. They've scored 81. So we've only scored like a few more than them. Um, although they've conceded a lot more than us. Um, Barcelona have scored 75, conceded 38. 
Yeah, second place. They're actually in second place, but 10 points ahead of Valencia there. Real Batiste, Deportivo and Villarreal finish up in the European spots. This is Serie A. Chivo Verona finished bottom on 23. Um, I think that's Haleb's team. Did, didn't we sell him to Verona? <laughs> oh dear. Uh, Sampdoria, 26 points. Livorno, 27. Fiorentina, 27. Cagliari, also 27. Just avoiding that little uh, danger zone. Although it doesn't matter because there's no second division, as we know. Uh, AC Milan win the league by a point. And they've actually won it on the last day because they've got an up arrow. And... Uh, Juventus have got a down arrow, so they must have won it right on the last day there. Very unlucky for Juventus, that. Wow. Snatched right at the last second. We're playing AC Milan in pre-season as well. Inter Milan, a a AS Roma, Regina and Udinese finish up in Europe. Finally, League 4. Look at that. Borussia Dortmund, 17 points. Terrible season there. Porto finish up in 15th with just 30 points. Club Bruce, only one point above that. Hmm. Not good. Moving up to the bottom, uh, sorry, the top of this table. Uh, we got Ajax win the league again. Didn't they win it last year or something? 63 points there. Uh, well done to them. Uh, Benfica get the automatic Champions League spot on 60. A uh, Bayern finishing seventh. That's incredible because they've usually been at the top of that league pretty much nearly every season, from what I recall. Uh, PSV, uh, Marseille. Uh, Paris and Lyon so three French teams met the qualifying for the Champions League uh, along with Eidenhoven so anyway this is the assists for the League Cup look at all them we've got <laughs> um, so we're not we're not too bothered about the assists here but we're going to see that uh, Rulo for Manchester United was top along with Skulls Neville and uh, they had Ronaldo on there didn't they have no that was it <laughs> yeah there may be one or two more that maybe got one as well but yeah, uh, in the cup goals though, Palm got two there. Um, went there for us? I can't remember though, to be honest. I mean, there might have been with Arsenal. I, I can't even remember, to be honest. It's not that important. Rosicki got two though. Mutu uh, finished joint top with Rubinho on four. Uh, UEFA Cup assists. Uh, we went in this, so it's not too important. But uh, Manchester United again did pretty well with the assists there. And uh, for goals, Nijkamp again. Well, he got top assist and top scorer. Pretty nice there. Palms up there, though, in second with three. Um, cool for AC Milan. Hey, he's on there with two. Uh, Champions League assists. Uh, got Lepoli. Lepoli got two. Joko with two. Uh, Iniesta with three. And Mutu with four. Goals was Mutu with ten, though. We got the hat trick in the final, didn't they? Ronaldinho got five. Eto got six, though. Ibrahimovic five. Could have been six for Ibrahimovic, but he missed. <laughs> Berbatov with four. Kalstrom with three. And I think that's pretty much that. So, uh, Premier League assists. Uh, you, need a, you needed at least six to get on here to start off with. So, there's quite a few of six. Rubinho there with seven. I can begin for United. What a player he is for them. Uh, Henri uh, with eight. Mutu also with eight. Owen got nine. And Lampard tops it for Chelsea uh, with 11. But this is it, guys. This is the big one right here. Goals in the Premier League. To start off uh, 15th position, you needed at least eight. Uh, Shearer got nine there. He's joint 12th. Uh, Roberto, uh, Drogba, Barros, Defoe all got uh, 10 in 8th position. Barker, Henri with 12. No, not too bad for Henri. 13, Palm. No, didn't do too bad then. Nacho Novo in 4th. Ronaldinho with 16 in 3rd. But finally... Mutu and Owen get joint top with 25 each. And Mutu scored... Um, both goals, didn't he, in that last game for us? So he needed them to actually uh, make sure that he did at least get joint top. He could have had an hat trick though, and could have actually. But he's got top anyway, even if it is joint top. Uh, he's still number one there, along with Owen. Owen could be a signing, couldn't he? Uh, point rankings, uh, goalkeeper. So Khan, <laughs> we've got the regen one, obviously. Is still number one there, even though he retired in 2007. Tolda retired in 2009. He's second. Casillas is still playing. Van der Sar's gone. Obviously, he finished. Um, well, he's in fourth, along with Buffon, who's still playing. Uh, 6.22. So you can see why maybe Casillas or Buffon, who are still playing, you can see why I want them. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, defender Maldini. Um, who retired in the very first season of the game is still number one defender on the point system. Um, Turam 
is also there. He's retired in 2008. Uh, Miljovic, uh, 6.45. Kab- Kaboni, who again retired in the first season, 6.42. Roberto Carlos, who is still playing, 6.39. Midfielders Iniesta, best midfielder, along with Beckham, who's still playing as well. Um, they're both joint top, actually. Just saying that. Nedved's still on there in third, even though he retired, uh, I think, last season, is that? Um, Schweinsteiger, yeah. Cal uh, Strom is on there. Wow. That's interesting. Uh, forward Larson, who retired in 2008, is joint top with Lopez of Real Zaragoza. That's interesting. Trezeguet is on there still. Mutu is now in the top forwards alongside Palm. <laughs> what is this? That's incredible. Now, this right here, guys, is the total goal and goal assist. We're going to start off with the assist. To get on here, you need at least 45 assists, which Gerard and Puello do have. We're both playing for us now. Van Bommel there with 46 alongside Schneider. Duff for Chelsea, also with 46. Totti is in 11th there um, with 47. Lampard's got 49. Dessler, De- Dessler, Dessler, 50. Uh, Stankovic, 51 alongside Vicente of uh, Valencia. We've got Ronaldinho on there in 5th with 56. Veron's in 50. Uh, he's got 53 in sixth position. Roberto Carlos has even got more than Ronaldinho, and he's playing at the back. What's all that about? 57. What a player. Snap him up on a free if we can. Uh, maybe he's out of contract. Hopefully. <laughs> Kaka, 63 assists in third. Xavi, 69 assi- assists in second. And finally, Deco is going to be number one with 77. Barcelona goals this is the all-time goal scoring chart so uh, you need at least 75 goals altogether to get on this Ronald Ronaldo um, is on uh, 75 Cassano um, of uh, Roma is on 76 Saviola of uh, Sevilla is on 79 we've got Totti on 81 Mackay is on 82 Drogba uh, is on 83. Imar is on 84. Mutu is on 86. So he's in actually in 7th position. So he's joint 7th with quite a few players there. He's joint 7th with Del Piero and Smith of United. Um, Torres has not like played all season. He's dropped down on this. He's dropped down into 6 um, on 88. So Mutu will overtake him eventually. Schwartz is on 90. Mutu will probably overtake him eventually into next season I imagine. Owen with 94 there. Ronaldinho with 95. Oliveira with 109. But number one has got to be, and it's somebody on our team, Thierry Henry with 118. So uh, he still remains the king of goals. So these are our season results, guys. We won 90% of our games this season. How does that compare to other seasons? Well, it's definitely better than last season where we had a 73.33. Not a great season, honestly. Um, Better than the season before that. That was season three, wasn't it? And even better than the season before that. So it's our best season for winner uh, percentage, indeed. Um... So yeah, it's, uh, that was season two. Uh, twenty six wins in the league. I think we bettered that by one, didn't we? We got twenty seven. We drew two and, and lost one. Um, we drew three and lost one in season two. We scored. Uh, don't forget the timer was higher back then, so obviously we would have scored more goals in seasons um, two and three. We scored one hundred and four in season three. Um, Last season, we conceded 14 goals. This season, we bettered that by one and only conceded 13. Um, so that's really good. And we, we actually scored more goals. Last season, we only scored 67 goals. Uh, this season, we actually scored 85. So a lot better up front. Uh, we got one yellow card. <laughs> and uh, that was pretty much it, guys. Not bad. And obviously, there is the player info, by the way, if you need to see that. We've got Henri with 12 there. I think that's... Partly when he was at Arsenal, though, it takes into account. Uh, Rosicki, two goals, two assists. Iniesta, one goal, five assists. Risa, one goal, one assist. Gerard, only the three goals and three assists. Then again, I have been playing him sort of slightly further back. If he was an attacking midfielder, he probably would have gotten more. Um, no goals for Messi. Mutu got 25 and eight assists, of course. Uh, Schwartz not been back too long but got six goals and two. Um, Miss Shimizu with the four goals, one assist. Kastrom, three goals. We haven't played Kastrom that much, honestly. Um, Kruf got one goal, two assists. That one was against Charlton, wasn't it? Fabregas got three goals before he left us. 
uh, on loan. Uh, Ronaldinho, 16 goals and uh, 5 assists. Matthew got 3 assists, no goals though. Joe Cole, 7 goals, 3 assists. Uh, that's pretty much that, guys. Not uh, not too bad at all. Anyway, guys, uh, team development. So this is how the team has improved this season. As you can see, Czech has gone pretty, pretty far up, though. Um... Since he's joined us, don't forget he's been here nearly two years now. Chibi was only had a season, but he's gone up on pretty much well, quite a lot of things there. You know, pause it if you want to look at this. Puyol's improved even though he's 31, so that's really good. Um, Sergio Ramos, look at that. When he joined us, look at his stats and look where he is now. He's just getting better and better. He's only 23 still. He's going to improve and improve. Risa uh, has gone up, although his shot power has gone down. Cruff has gone up on quite a few things. Uh, Gerard, of course, he's gone up. He always seems to improve. Although his stamina has gone down slightly. So Iniesta has gone up on quite a few things. He's still 25. Rosicki hasn't made any change so far. We've only just bought him. Lapoli's gone up on pretty much everything but his keeper skill. So that's good. Mutu's gone up, although his acceleration has gone down. So, yeah. Marshall has made... Some improvement there as well. That's, that's not too bad. Metasaka um, has gone up. Although he's, I think he's one of those that I want to get rid of in the next window. Terry's gone up on quite a few things there as well. Uh, Matthew, I mean, he's improved by quite a lot. We've, don't forget, we've had him since the start of season two. So, you know what I mean? He's getting on now. As Killini has actually gone up on a few things there. Joe Cole has gone down on his dribble. Um by uh, one uh, and his technique oh well Messi's gone up on quite a few things there Carl Strom's improved uh, Ronaldinho has gone down on a few things but to be honest though he's he's, he's starting to decline now isn't he so you know what I mean he might still improve on one or two things now and then but it'll start to go down on one or two I felt a lot of the um, attributes in the red area tend to go down now and you know just slowly decline uh Caffey's actually gone up and improved that's all right stamina is his best thing so that's actually really good if he's got good stamina and he's at, at the age of 17 because you know what i mean i'm always talking about how we could do with somebody who's got good stamina to play each game you know kind of like how uh kind of like risa and um sergio ramos are, so that's really good schwartz has gone up um yeah i think that 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 has to be taking into account um what he was when he joined us back in January, not obviously the first time we signed him. Uh, Torres, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't think he's gone up at all because we have hardly played him this season. Khan's gone up though, so that's all right. Shimizu's gone up, Kaiser's gone up, Kaiser's gone up quite a bit there. That's good, making some good progress. Um, Van Bronckhorst, obviously, he's gone down. He's, oh, he has gone up on a couple of things though. Whether or not we keep him for another season, I don't know. Probably not with him being 34 but I guess we'll see. Puello's gone down since joining us yeah, although he is 30. Thierry Marie's obviously got, he's going to just decline now at his age 32. Fabregas has gone up he's been on loan um, but I'm not too sure if he's improved at all on his loan. We might have to maybe look into that a bit further and those are the uh, team stats this season guys. And I think that's it guys. I think that's it. I don't think there's anything else to explain or talk about this season. That is it. We just look forward to the future now. And uh, yeah, man, it started out it started out pretty difficult against We United and Fulham. I remember that much. I think there were two away games. Um, Blackburn who would go down eventually. They did give us a hard time though in this fixture right here. We couldn't score against them. Um, Chelsea, Charlton, yeah, didn't really put... What what did that finish? 4-0. Remember, we went to Chelsea and won 2-1 earlier in the season. That was good. Um, yeah, you know, just, just win, win after win. Just what we want, wanted. Just what we wanted. Uh, how did we get on in the cup? I forgot. <laughs> Who did we play? We played Everton first. That was it. And, uh, yeah, we united in the... Uh, Champions League, Roma, that 4-2 result, that was a pretty good one. Uh, it was the Arsenal game here, but we won 2-0. We won um, Everton, 3-0. Played Everton again, 3-0. <laughs> um, Champions League, drew 2-2 with Juventus. Uh, the Wigan game, the 200th episode, 5-1. Um, 
we united yet again. Bolton, where I think we drew 1-1, didn't we? So, yeah, everything, I suppose, helped for them this season. Um, Rangers, that, oh, that was a 1-1, wasn't it? Yeah, that was a 1-1. Then we beat them. 2-1 uh, uh, in the end. Um, Roma, 4-1. Then I think it was Juventus again, where we couldn't beat them again. Uh, the Chelsea game, we killed that one off. Yeah, it's just been really good. It's just been really good. What a game against Inter as well. And what a game against... Um, no, it wasn't that one. Is it this one? Yeah, against Madrid as well in the semi-finals of Champions League. Absolutely excellent. Just absolutely excellent. I remember like the the Charlton game where we won that 3-2, didn't we? And then we had the, the Middlesbrough game. Uh, we won that 3-2 as well. We put out weakened teams. Oh, the Rangers game. Ah, oh, brilliant. 6-0. <laughs> oh, it's, it's legendary stuff. Um... Manchester United in fixture 26, won that 5-0, um, got through to Champions League final, won the cup 2-1 against United, pretty interesting final, another pretty interesting final against Juventus, and then uh, Wigan ruined it for us, but they survived and so did Bolton, and uh, we look forward to playing against Pez United and uh, West Brom next season, guys. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, that's it from us. We haven't seen West Ham in this uh, series at all. They still haven't come up again. Um, but, yeah, guys, and we look forward to next season as it kicks off against AC Milan, guys. So, yeah, thank you for watching this season, guys. That is it. We will uh, take a summer break now, think about who we want to... Well, we pretty much know who we want to sign, but it depends if we sign them or not. But we've got over 100,000 points to do so, so no excuses, really. We can't we can't really improve this team much more than, you know, we've won the treble now. But I guess we'll still do it all again, though. That's not going to stop us. So I'll see you for that one, then. Thanks for watching the season, guys. It's been amazing. Please do comment, rate, subscribe, and share, as always. And join us next season. Take care. Thank you.